guys, it's Alina and today I'm going to be filming a very short makeup routine. All the videos that I have on my channel doing makeup routines, I talk for like 18 minutes and I don't want to do that today and I also don't have time. So I'm just going to be doing a voiceover and you guys are going to watch me do my makeup. So the first thing I always start off with is my brows. I use the CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil in the shade 705. The easiest way to start off your brows is by drawing a line at the bottom and then blending and defining from there. I haven't gotten my eyebrows waxed in like a month or so, so um, my eyebrows don't look the best, but I think I'll be able to fix it later. The next thing that I use is the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Mascara. I prefer the one with the curved brush, but they do sell one with the regular brush. I find that the curved brush pushes up your lashes more so you don't have to use a curler and it also just makes it look a lot more voluminous. So now I'm just taking off my silk scarf. It's very, very important that you do this before you put on your foundation because if not, you're going to end up with a really ugly white line on your hairline and nobody wants that. So for my primer, I'll be using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I absolutely love this stuff and I think it's great for people that have oily skin. It has squalene in it so it helps to grip the makeup. And then it's also just an amazing sheer base for your foundation. So I usually never wear full coverage makeup. So today I'll be using the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer in the shade Medium Dark 14W. I love this. I think it has a beautiful natural finish and it's very, very easy to apply and blend into the skin. Paired with the tinted moisturizer, I'll be using the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer in the shade Medium 90W. I like to put this on all of the high points of my face as well as any spots that may be dark. So that includes under my eyes, around my mouth, and then I also use it to define my eyebrows. I was trying so hard not to get this powder on my white shirt, but this is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade 30 Medium Deep. I have been using this product literally since 9th grade when I first started wearing makeup. It's super easy to use and I think it gives you a really natural finish. And it's nothing too crazy, but it does help to set in your makeup a lot. And also if for some reason your foundation and concealer don't match your skin tone exactly, using a product like this will really help to even it out. I do like to go in with a smaller, more precise brush for my edges because your hairline is obviously going to sweat throughout the day. So you want to make sure that even if your edges are lifting, that your makeup around your hairline still stays in place. Next, I'll be using the Wild Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Golden Flower Crown. This is probably the best highlighter that I've ever tried. It really glows by itself, but once you add setting spray to it, it really pops even more. So I like to put this on all of the high points of my face, the arches of my eyebrows, on my nose, in between my eyes, and also on the high points of my cheeks. The next product I'll be using is the Rimmel London Natural Bronzer in the shade 22 Sun Bronze. It's a really, really warm bronzer that I use to contour my face. So even if you have a lighter base on, this contour will make it look like your face is snatched without even having to do anything else. Next, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Color Icon 
blush in the shade 328b mellow wine um i don't really have much to say about this it does blend in really easy and a little goes a long way so you don't want to overdo it when you do try to put this on a brush so now I'm just using a Q-tip to clean off the excess foundation and concealer off of my lips. I do this mainly so that my lip color can pop a little more. So the last product that really secures the glow and makes this makeup look stay on all day even while wearing the mask is the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. I usually do my waterline right after my mascara, but for some reason I completely forgot. This is the Wet n Wild Coal Eyeliner in the shade 603A Cima Brown. I use this on my waterline mainly to define my eyes since I don't use mascara on my bottom lashes. So for my lips, I'll be using a lip gloss from a small business called Gold Lux Beauty. The shade that I'll be using is called Dulce. It's a really pretty light pink nude gloss and it has castor oil, grapeseed oil, coconut oil, and vitamin E keeps your lips super hydrated and it looks really really pretty if you want to make a purchase on this website you can use my code alina15 their products are super affordable and high quality My camera died, but here I am. I'm done. All right, I'm going to church. Bye. <laughs>